Hi Ron, welcome. Today I'll be showing you my process that led to the making of this interior scene from scratch. I was just scrolling that day on Pinterest and thought it would be a good exercise to make those kind of interiors on the screen and end up making this. And I think from both angles it turns out good enough to share the process with you. So I made this video. I think that it turns out good enough as well I think you might enjoy the scene breakdown. Also, you can download the free blender scene on my Patreon, so go check it out in the description tab. Now, let me get into it. Step 1. Watch this video of Blender Guru tutorial. Just watch it before you start. It covers all the basics and a lot more. I learned so many things, not only about origins, but a lot of tips and tricks as well, so you just go and watch it, okay? Do I really need to pitch a Blender Guru video to a Blender user? I hope not. Step 2. Drawing those card plan. It is a lot easier to draw on the AutoCAD plane in Blender when it comes to archives than just modeling randomly based on a so-called good sense of scale, where you will modify the scale 100, maybe 1000 times. So when your plan is ready, we can jump into the third step where I will show you the entire scene just by magic and how to smash the render button like your nuclear launcher button. Nah, the third step is just start modeling while using the plan as reference, but just before, we'll organize our collection based on the type of the elements we're going to be modeling. This is very important. Very important. Now, by just using the single vertex mesh, I will extrude the vertex. F to fill it to extrude along the z-axis. I'll repeat this process until I get this. Now for the windows, I will just use the Arch Mesh add-on, not because I'm lazy like I said in the previous video, then place them where I want them to be. There is something wrong you might say, the goddamn selling is lacking of details as hell. So I added some bars with array modifier, rotate them a bit and voila. For the cabinet. I just try to do something simple based on the references images. This step is pretty straightforward because I just use some plane scaling insert and extruding them and repeat the action until all the cabinets are ready and it took me like over one hour definitely. Step 4. Materials. Here it's just a pick and drop game using the Blender Kit library or the Mega Scan library until you get something really cool. Like this. Same thing for the furniture, where I was just fishing on CG Trader and Blender Kit, both with high quality assets and all for free. For some of the assets I use in this scene, I will put the link in the description. So go check it out. After watching the video, of course. Now come the most important part, the lighting. Lighting is crucial for making realistic render, whether it is direct light or HDRI. And it was what gave me a hard time in this process. I shot over 10 HDRI, played with many settings, render again and again and again just to see that is weird as hell. Then I just remember this tip video for lighting I saw the other day and remember to combine two HDRI for a nicer overall look. It is just to watch the I plug them into a mix shader because it's a live shader. I'll put a screenshot just here. You are welcome. We also have to watch the I use in this scene in the description. Here come the final boss, the render settings. To keep it simple, the engine uses cycle with 1024 sample. 14 for light path, AGX color management with the punchy look. And this is how the final render turns out. It took me over 5 minutes to render each images. And yeah, to be honest, I cannot seem to find any problem in this scene except for the floor, who seem to like a bit of normals. But yeah, that's it. Tell me what you like in this scene or what you will change. Comment any question you might have regarding this process. 
that's it for now that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching if you did bye bye